The topic for today is your time, work, pipes, and system. So this topic is one of the easiest topics to score. Come, also the time, speed, and distance is also one of the easy topics to score. Okay. So now, without any further ado, let us start it. Now, uh, imagine that I am telling uh, somebody like Karthik, okay, is eating ten rotis, okay, ten rotis, and Naveen is eating hundred rotis, hundred rotis. Now, as soon as you see this statement, what comes to your mind? Naveen. तो बुक कर दे, so he is eating so much, right? Okay, now if I add another statement to it, ten rotis per day and hundred rotis for ten days. Now, now what do you realize as soon as you see this? So both are having the same thing. Equally, they are both having the same thing. Nothing is changing over here. Only the time I am additionally adding, where the work what you have done is dependent on time, right? The work what you have done is dependent on time. The same way, if I am telling a person A is able to do a work in ten days, ten days, okay, and And a person B is able to do the same work in five days. Same work in five days. Obviously, you will tell this person B is faster than A, right? This 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 person B is faster than A. Now, if I change the statement and tell twenty people work for ten days to get a work done, okay? Twenty people work for ten days to complete a work. And then I'm telling, uh, then I'm telling something like forty uh, people work for five days to complete a work. Five days to complete a work. Now, what is happening? What's happening? Okay. More people. The number of days it it takes to complete the work is reducing, right? So this is what is happening. Okay. Now, if twenty people are taking ten days to complete a work, how much is each person doing work one by ten? Okay, fine. Now, how are you telling this? Work done is equal to what? It is depend on time. Okay, then number of persons. Okay, the number of people and the time take. It is depend on. Now, the same statement I am improvising more. In these ten days, these people are working for eight hours each, and in these five days, these people are working. Okay, four hours each. Four hours each. So now, what happens? We get multiplied by eight. Okay, okay. If if in case if you want more like simpler equation, just let me give you a smaller equation. This is ten. This is twenty people. Okay, for ten people take ten days to complete a work, eight hours each. Twenty people are taking five days to complete a work, four hours each. Now what happens now? What happens to the work done? Same, same. The work done is same. Obviously, these people are working for eight hours, ten days, and these people twenty people are working for four hours for five days. Or or this. Cannot be five days. This cannot be five. Days. This has to be obviously again ten days. Again ten days. So whenever it is depend on the time also. The time also. So work done is nothing but the time taken into the number of people into the number of days. This is time. This is number of days. Okay. The work done is nothing but it depend on the number of people working and the number of days taken and the number of hours taken. So work done is equal to number of people into number of days into the number of hours taken. This becomes the generalized equation for time. It is depend on all these. Parameter. Okay. Now, if I tell the work done is same, the work done by A and the work done by B is same. Then what do I mean by it? It means the work done by A and the work done by B is equal. It is meaning by the same. In that case, I can write it in a generalized term: M1 D1 T1 is equal to M2 D2 T2. This is nothing but the work done when it is same. When both are doing the same work in different number of days or same number of days or what? Work done is fine. Now these are some basics. Where ten people are working for ten days for eight hours each to complete a particular work, and twenty people are working for four hours each in the same ten days to complete a work. So work done is same. Work done is the equation becomes like this. there might be scenario where the work done is going to be different, but those kind of problems mostly won't come. So we're not going to focus on. It, okay. Now since you understood this, okay. Now let me take one small example. Okay. A takes ten days to complete a work. A takes ten days to complete a work, and B takes fifteen days to complete. Fifteen days to complete a work. So, how much of work will A do in one day? One upon ten. One upon ten. This is going to be one day's work. One day's work. How much is he going to do for two days? Two by ten. How much is he going to do for three days? Three by ten. It keeps on going up to ten by ten. That is nothing but one. Now, this one is nothing but hundred percent efficiency. And here it is ten percent efficiency. This is ten percent work complete. This is twenty percent work complete. This is hundred percent work. Right? The same holds good for B. How much of work has B? Done in one day, one by fifteen for two days, two by fifteen keeps on going by fifteen by fine. Now 
individually these people are doing this work. Imagine that if A and B are combinedly going to do the work. Yeah? I'm asking if A and B are combinedly going to do the work, how many days will they take? Sorry? 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. That is going to be 1 day's work. A and B together is going to be 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. This is nothing but 1 day's combined work. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. This is going to be 1 day's combined work. So what's the answer for this? 3. So 30 is the LCM. So this becomes 3. This becomes 2. This becomes 30. So it becomes 5 by 30 or it becomes 1 by 6. So A and B combinedly will be completing the work in 6 days. So this becomes your time taken. This becomes your time taken. So A and B combinedly will be doing the work in 6 days. Okay. Clear what is 1 day's work of A, 1 day's work of B and what is the combined work of them. Right. So how did I get this 6? If 1 6 is for 1 day, obviously this denominator is going to the maximum value. So that is the number of days it is going to take. So 6 days. Right. Clear till here or any doubts online, offline? Okay. Clear. So in case if it is 2 by 6. So it becomes 2 divided by 6. So this becomes 1 divided by 6 divided by 2. Or this becomes 3. So it takes 3 days at the point. Okay. So now if this concept is clear, let me take you through another concept. Now I am telling A is doing the work in 16 days. B is doing the work in 12 days. And there is another person called as C who is added. And when this C joins them together, they all together take 4 days to complete the work. 4 days to complete the work. Now how many days will C alone take to complete? the work. How many days will C alone take to complete the work? Now, how will you do it? What's the approach? Sir, 1 by 16 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by C is equal to 1 by 12. Okay. So now, they are telling the combined work of ABC is going to be completed in 4 days. What is combined work of ABC for 1 day? 1 by 16 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by C is, is going to be equivalent to how many? 1 by 4. Yes, this is going to be 1 day's work. This is going to be 1 day's work. In this case, can you find out only C now? This is going to be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 16 minus 1 by 12. What is the common LCM here? 16. LCM 16. 16. Huh? Then 48. 48 is going to be the LCM for this. 48 is the LCM and this becomes 12 times. This becomes 3 times. This becomes 4 times. Right? 3, 4. Find So 12 minus 7 is 5 divided by 48. 5 divided by 48. Or 1 by C is equal to 1 divided by 48 by 5. So C alone is going to take, C alone is going to take 48 divided by 5 days. Nine Sorry, this is going to be time, right? This is going to be time. Yeah. C alone is going to take 48 divided by 5 days to complete the entire work. Concept is clear, tell you. Yes, no. Online, offline, how did you find out C? We were given the number of days taken by A and the number of days taken by B to complete a particular work. Okay? Yeah. I am telling, if all three people are working together to complete this particular work in 4 days, how much is only C going to take to complete this work. Then we are going to find it. Find Okay. Yes. Okay. See, here I just took the LCM of we don't want on this. Just remind. Okay. So now, what is the LCM of 4, 16 and 12? 48. 48 is the LCM. Yes or no? If 48 is the LCM, what should I multiply here in order to make it 48? This is 4 here. So obviously you need to multiply this by 12. So 12 into 4 is going to be 48. So this is going to be 12. Right? So this is going to be 16 into 3 is going to be 48. This is going to be 12 into 4. Yes? Yes or no? Find divided by. Clear? Okay. If the concepts are clear, now go on to your questions.